Paul is trapped on the beach and loses consciousness in his limbs. His wounds are festering and attracting mosquitoes. He has been without water and food for more than 24 hours. The only thing Paul can do is to write down a distress signal on the beach. But not long after, the fierce sea water erases the signal. Now his face is pale. He is on the verge of death. He can't just sit there and wait for death. Suddenly, he sees a surfboard floating in the sea. Paul struggles to climb over it, but the wave slaps him mercilessly against the rocks. His injuries get worse. At this time, a helicopter flies over the beach, but in the vast sea, Paul is too inconspicuous to be noticed. No one finds him. His hope is wrecked once again to keep from being swept away by the waves. Paul hooks his backpack to the rocks. This is his only way to survive. After a few hours, the waves finally recede. In order to stay alive, Paul finds a can on the beach. But there is only a little seawater in it. He is now in desperate need of fresh water. In such extreme conditions, 